talk about something else here on the impact of COVID-19 and the third wave. You see this, this is an hotel lobby and it's really empty right now. So Kenya's tourism industry has for the second time in months suffered another blow after the government tightened the containment measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Hoteliers are now counting losses as reservations, cancellations rise, taking a toll on their businesses just days before the Easter holiday begins. Miriam Nyambura reports on the plight of hoteliers who, despite adhering to certain health and safety protocols, are back to the drawing board to save their businesses. From the social distancing floor decals to hand washing and sanitizing points, the hotel industry put in work to reopen amidst a pandemic that was ravaging the country. The recent directive by President Kenyatta to have eateries and restaurants offer only takeaway services and place travel restrictions on five counties declared as a disease-infected zone has industry players feeling the heat this Easter period. Uh, the numbers that we were expecting for Easter, definitely we have seen a huge reduction of those numbers. Uh, cancellation ranging between 35 to 50 percent is uh, nothing strange. Yeah. We are waiting to see how these impact in the long run, but definitely there is a big wash in business. The cancellations, coupled with the cost of revamping the business to comply with the set protocols, have left businesses feeling the pinch. Hotels have been forced to downscale operations and the staffers, as conference and hotel rooms remain empty. We are back to the same situation right now. We have sent again another 70% of our total workforce. Currently, right now, as we stand, we have 30 30 workers in the hotel. To the five counties that are closed, there is still a lot of options for travel, uh, for holiday, and uh, people should uh, still be able to do that. The hoteliers say offering takeaway services is not viable. During the last three days, we only have had five customers. So you see the loss is massive. It is massive, massive, massive. The industry players are now back to the drawing board seeking alternative means of raising revenue just when the tourism sector was slowly picking up. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.